Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another Mango Pickups video. Um, a little early for me, um, I guess, because uh, I'm usually late, but uh, here it is, my pickups for the month of October. Um, first up, I have some One Piece volumes, you know, just filling in some of my gaps. Um, I have 29, 34, 64, 65, and 67. So yeah, I'm... I'm officially five volumes away from being up to date, and you know, hopefully, I get that caught, get the series all caught up um, before the year ends. So yeah, this one piece is, as you guys know, it's definitely a great series. Um, next up, I got Attack on Titan Volume Seven. Um, great volume, you know, just coming up to where the the anime left off, I guess. Um, I think the anime ended off in Volume 8, but yeah. Kodansha's really been pumping these out every month, and we should be up to date with Japan, you know, by early next year. So yeah, Attack on Titan, Volume 7. Next up, I have... Air Gear, Volume 25. Um, it's the only one I was missing. Um, but I'm still on Volume like 21 or 22, so... Uh, I still have another six or seven volumes to read, so yeah. Um, I thought I thought I just thought I fill in the one gap that I had. Yeah, so I'm not. I'm probably not gonna buy any more until I read through with what I got. So yeah, here you go, twenty five. One of my favorite female characters, definitely, in the Air Gear series. Um, next up I got um, Slam Dunk. Uh, it's always a great month when you get anything by Takahiko Inoue, you know, Slam Dunk, second last volume. Last one is due out in December, so it'll be really sad to see the series finish. Um, it was definitely a great ride, definitely, my favorite shonen. Um, it's, essentially, it's just, uh, in my case, it's, it's a true gem of a series. Um, and I highly recommend, though, from, for those that haven't read it, to definitely do so, because... It's a definitely a great shonen sports manga. One of the best there ever was. Next up, another Takahiko Inoue volume, um, real volume twelve. Um, great volume. I love, I love the the ending, or rather, um, the last few chapters where you meet an old uh, character again because the releases. They come out once a year, so you usually forget everything that happened in the previous volume. So yeah, it's it's definitely a great volume. I love Viz's treatment of the the series. It has some nice color pages as well. Takahiko Inoue's artwork is no exception. It's absolutely fantastic. As you guys already know. But yeah. Can't wait for volume 13, I guess, next year. Um, Next up, I have... Boku Rano Hour is volume 9, um, volume 8 ended on a cl uh, killer cliffhanger, so I just had to get the next volume, and this, we have two more volumes to go, and then the series should be completed, and I haven't read this yet, so I'm sure it'll be just as great as the previous 8, so yeah, Boku Rano Hour is volume 9. Um, next up... I've always wanted to try the series, and, you know, I just, I've heard mixed things about it, it's a horror series, and that series is Uzumaki, so I thought, what better time than now, because Viz just put out this new Omnibus edition of Uzumaki, so yeah, it's the entire three volume series in one hardcover, um, it feels really nice to the touch, uh, slick to the hands, same with the pages as well, has some nice color pages inside. So yeah, um, I think it has the lost chapter as well. So it has that extra chapter that I, I believe the three volumes didn't con um, that it was not in. So yeah, um, definitely a great hardcover release. Yeah, and it feels really nice in the hands. I'll be honest here, it does it feels really nice. So yeah, for those that want to check this um, series out, definitely pick up hardcover edition. It'd probably be the, a cheaper alternative as opposed to getting the three volumes. Again, I haven't read it yet, so can't really say anything about it, but 
Yeah. All right. Um. Okay. The next series, I had to rebuy only because when I moved here to my current location, um, about a, over a year ago, um, I had a small. I couldn't find a small box of manga, so basically, I lost a few volumes. And one of those series I had to rebuy definitely, and that series is Claymore. So yeah, I had to rebuy a lot of my Claymore volumes. I had up to where the anime left off at the I, I had eleven volumes basically, and yeah, and I basically lost around fifteen twenty volumes. I don't know how I, I forget how much. I don't know how many volumes it was in that box, but yeah, I just can't find it right now. And what I was looking over to see where, which volume I needed, but I had to. So yeah, basically that's that. I had to rebuy Claymore or eleven volumes of it. So there's volume one. Definitely a great series. Um, two, three. I'm sure you guys all checked out the anime. Anime was absolutely fantastic for its time when it came out. Um, Really great series, um, has that berserk feel. Well, I, I guess many people compare it, the the the, the two. Um, oh yeah, I volume nine didn't come in, so it should come in maybe next month or yeah, it should come sometime soon. Um, there's volume ten, volume eleven. So that's where I had up to. So what's new to me is volume twelve. Is thirteen and fourteen. So yeah, the last 12, 13, 14, I never had before. So that's entirely new material for me, stuff I haven't read. So yeah, I had that's thirteen, thirteen volumes uh, here. One to fourteen minus nine, so I should have nine. Um, sometime next month. So yeah. I'm probably gonna reread the entire series. It's been a, a while since I last read it, and uh, I'm sure I'll enjoy it as much as I did the first time. And I'm looking forward to getting more Claymore for the next month as well. So yeah, there's that. As you can tell, it's been it's a pretty big hole by my standards. Um, so far, but well, that's not the end. And last but not least, <clears throat> this thing's got my. First manga box set. I'm sure you guys know, probably you can guess what it is. That is, bam, Bakuman. Yeah, that's this is my first manga box set. I was pretty excited for it. Um, missed out on the Death Note one um, a few years back because I bought the volumes before the box set came out. But this time, I was lucky enough to. I sold off the first four uh, four volumes that I had. I was luckily able to do so in the summer. So. Don't have any duplicates, but my first box set, so I was pretty excited. Looks absolutely fantastic, and it's definitely a great deal. Um, it's maybe uh, about a hundred dollars or so, hundred dollars, and it's like five dollars a volume basically. So that's definitely a steal, in my in my opinion. Um, um really thick cardboard, really sturdy. Um, release sign. back what i was really excited for is the little comic that it comes with the otter 11 comic by hiromaru one of the characters in the series my favorite character without a doubt in the bakuman series what above above all i'm just really glad to really to finally be able to own bakuman definitely i watched the anime it's definitely a great show anime so i'll just show you the inside here's what it looks like so show you the top. Yeah, that's pretty neat stuff. All right, so I'm not gonna pull out each volume since many of you guys have already bought Bakuman already, but I'll just show you the little, the two extras. The first one being this little poster. It's not, it's not, it's not big or anything. It's just some nice little extra that it came with. Um, like they do with the, all that this does with all their box sets. But well, here it is. Um, I 
nice little little um, poster. Double sided as well. So yeah, that's pretty that's pretty neat. Um, um, next up we have the Otter Otter Eleven. Otter Eleven by Kazuya Hiramaru. So it's about only ten pages. It's nothing. It's nothing too special. But Hiramaru is one of my favorite characters, so it's pretty neat having some of this stuff. So again, it's only ten pages, so it's it's not it's nothing. You guys, it's not it's nothing too much to miss out on. But I just thought it was a, a, a neat little extra thing to have. So yeah, here it is, Bakuman, 1-20, to entire series. Highly recommend this box set for those that have yet to collect Bakuman. It's a great way, uh, really efficient way of collecting it financially. Um, it's only, again, it's like $5 in the a volume, basically, if you average it out. And you get a nice, like, two little extras and a nice box to go with it, right, to just keep them in. Again, this is my first box set, so I was pretty excited once I got it, so... Yeah, that's all I picked up for the month of October. That's um, quite a haul for me. Um, I It's been a while since I last bought this much. This is a total of 44 volumes. Yes, 44. Only because I had to buy a lot of Claymore. Um, otherwise, it wouldn't have been that much. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to create my usual tower. You know. Now Bakuman, Claymore, 1 to 14, minus 9. Volcarano, Real. Air Gear, Slam Dunk. Attack on Titan. So, One Piece Volumes. One Piece Volumes, and, um. That's what not need, at least. <clears throat> Uzumaki. So, yeah, total of 44 volumes, um. I think next month, if my order comes in next month, it might be another big one as well. Um, probably, definitely Claymore 9 should be in next month. Um, and yeah, it's like a little pre-Christmas buying, I guess. I don't think I sh should have too much coming in for the month of December. Because after this month and maybe probably next month, uh, I'm probably going to be broke after this. But as of uh, this month, I've crossed the 700 volume mark quite easily. I think with next month, it'll probably already cross, push 750. It's getting kind of scary, to be honest. Um, I never would have thought that I would get this much. I would reach this kind of milestone, I guess. Because, um, you know, with each and every year, it gets a little closer to 1,000. And 1,000, I've always thought it was truly a lot of volumes. Never would I have thought I would even get anywhere past 500 in the first place, so... Yeah, but, you know, I love reading manga, and I'm sure many of you guys do as well, for those that are watching. Um, so, yeah, thanks thanks again for watching my October Manga Pickups video, and definitely stay tuned for the next one in the month of November, because it's going to be another big haul as well, but mainly because a lot of it is going to be from one entire series. So, yeah, not going to be as much variety next month, but volume-wise, it should be quite comparable to... This month, if my order does come in, yeah, none of them gets held back. So yeah, thank you guys again for watching, and stay tuned for the next one in the month of November.